Hey there friends, happy Thursday to you. We've had crazy stormy day and um, now it's like the, sun, the sun's out and that's always encouraging to see. Today I, um, I gathered some wild violets from my yard and I wanted to show these to you, you know, in their pure state. Uh, my yard is actually covered in wild violets. Can you see that baby? And they are such a vibrant purple. I also noticed um, when Mia and I were taking our little walk today that there are, in the field where we walk, there are some white violets with uh, purple veins in them that are just really pretty. I plan to pick some of those as well. Uh, so what I did with my little violet harvest was I quick, um, you know, I just quick press these. The way that I did this, you guys, was I just, um, I took a little bit of, sorry, super shiny. I took a little bit of glue stick and I placed some glue stick on a piece of cardstock. I pressed the flower down and then I covered it with packing tape, you know, just regular old packing tape. And this worked really well. I've d I've done this before and it's it's crazy how it kind of seals in that color. And they do stay really pretty for quite a long time. I'm really happy to uh, kind of rediscover this way of preserving and pressing and, and, you know, drying fresh flowers. So we're going to put together some journal cards today. And this is just kind of another shout out to Lindsay over at Nevermore Creation. She, uh, I purchased these wonderful prints from her. It's super cool because she's one of the few people that I know of that will send you a printed, you know, a physical printed image through the mail. I, we do have a printer now. You guys know my printer story. There's something magnetically wrong with me. And every time I get close to something like a printer or a watch or anything like that, it tends to um, stop working. But anyway, I don't know what that is. But whatever it is, it's just is what it is. The images that I chose are just crazy beautiful, you guys. I have been very inspired just going through these papers and looking at what Lindsay put together. I think in a previous video, I'll try and put an iCard up here, I listed the paper packs that I bought from her. She's such a wonderful creator and uh, she's she's a very inspiring person as well i love to listen to her talk uh so let's put together some journal cards i'm using my coffee dodd index cards they are blank index cards front and back that i have done some coffee dyeing on what I did here was I put some coffee dot paper on the back so you can journal on the back of the card. And then, you know, if you want to add a tag, I mean, if you want to add a tab or if you want to add um, an eyelet and make this into a bookmark, I think it would make a really super cool bookmark to uh, give to somebody for Easter. You know, we're thinking spring, we're thinking summer, and the wonderful violet image is such a um is such a harbinger of spring so let's get started i've already rounded the edges of these copy dod index cards so the next thing we're going to do is add some vintage paper if you guys look in my shop you'll see that i have vintage vintage paper in the shop now and they are paper packs. You get 50, I think, um, pieces of paper for, um, I've got a real deal going on because they're five bucks. And that is 
that's a heck of a deal right now i will be raising prices be raising prices in um, april so snag them babies while you can i would appreciate it i will triply doubly appreciate it because my refrigerator stopped working today <laughs> it was like I, I just got the washing machine paid off it's like oh crap <laughs> i mean sometimes you just gotta laugh it was funny because we chris chris was like there's a tornado warning there's a tornado warning and i was like okay 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 and then i went to the freezer to i don't know what i was getting like a frozen dinner or something um because i was going to eat before the tornado came by golly and i'm like huh <laughs> think the freezer is working and then i opened the fridge and it was like well darn it because yeah, that ain't working either all right we're using um some of these images that i showed you from Lindsay at nevermore creations i love this one because it's uh a man and a lady and I, I so dig these hats do you see the hats because i'm thinking this is maybe dutch um, but this is just a beautiful stellar image. So I've been kind of putting the image in the corner and then um, right here is where I've been putting the uh, quick pressed flower. I am just using glue stick on these, but mm, you know, that's working really good. I've been kind of experimenting with glue and uh, I do really like I said I didn't like it but now I do like it the aqua tombow aqua I think I just really like it because there's a pen tip and a broad tip on it and um, it, it but it sometimes it dries like hard I don't know what that is but anyway um, some of them I have, uh, I've used that Tombow on as well. And then I, uh, just created some, like, Tim Holtz, um, uh, this is Chit Chat words, and put them on more coffee dyed paper, and just put these on here. You can pull yourself together, you know, a little... A little kit and make these yourself see that turned out really sweet they do look very thoughtful as they are sitting by the seashore reading their little map there all right let's get another one out I like to work like this I like to prep my area it's kind of like uh, you know those cooking shows on TV where they have a billion prep bowls I, I can't cook like that. Honestly, the other day, I made an entire dinner, and I used one pot. <laughs> it was like, and I didn't even wash it between, you know. Uh, I, I did some stir-fried chicken, red pepper, onion, and then I had already pre-cooked the rice. So I got the rice out and put that in the skillet as well and then i fried an egg in that skillet as well it was like hmm. it's a one pot dinner by golly another sweet image The gathering of flowers to me has such deep meaning and romance to it. I always think about, remember in Sense and Sensibility when uh, the rich captain brought Marianne A bouquet of roses from his rose garden and she thought that was nice but Willoughby 
What did Willoughby bring? Oh, that scoundrel Willoughby. Willoughby brought... A posy that he had gathered from the meadows as he was walking over. So it's that cultivated flower thing from a gentleman or a posy from a gentleman who's actually a scoundrel. Many, 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 many men had to marry for money in Jane Austen's time. Well, I think before that, I don't know why I said Jane Austen's time. I guess because we were talking about sense and sensibility. You know, marriages were arranged according to the wealth status of the participants and then you know in the 1920s um, you know that's how the whole Downton Abbey thing because um, the Lord of Downton Abbey I can't remember his name uh, had lost his wealth, you know, so he had to marry a rich woman, and that rich woman was in the United States, and she wanted a title, and he needed money, so they, they struck an accord, and all was happy and good. I'm going to start selling my coffee dyed index cards and papers probably in the middle of April because next week is going to be busy and the week after that's going to be busy. So I'm thinking I might get to that mid April. I loved coffee dye. And I do it in a very, I have a very casual approach to coffee, <laughs> coffee dyeing. You know, I just have these um, shallow cardboard cartons. And I um, put paper in the cardboard cartons, line the cartons with index cards or notebook paper or eight and a half by 11 paper and I put my coffee filter on top of those papers so I get a really nice coffee dye. It's uncomplicated coffee dye. It also doesn't make you know don't turn on the oven so it's energy efficient as well i wanted to uh say a quick hi to rosanna haven't seen you or heard from you in a long time and she popped up today and i was like hi rosanna haven't seen you in forever <laughs> so it was really nice to uh to see her. Hey, Rosanna. I see this corner is not gonna, it doesn't want to stick. Uh, that's okay. I'm gonna use that super cool Tombow. Get that baby down there. You know what I forgot to do too? I forgot to, to put uh, just one more strip on the front, like I did this one. But I'm wondering if that strip really makes a difference because see it's kind of hidden. So it's like, hmm, probably won't do that anymore. Okay, let's kind of pull this up. Like I said, it's it's sort of shocking how you know you can really seal that um that violet under just packing tape. 
I also have a lot of other flowers outside that I'm going to do this to. The, the yard is just full of blooming things. You know, I'm thinking that, you know, you could do a few rose petals on an arrangement like this. So, you know, it's not drying flowers. It's not a dried flower. It's a live flower that's been encapsulated, which is really cool. For the Coffee Dodd index cards, I did hit the edge with some Tim Holtz frayed burlap that I love. I love that frayed burlap. But she's wearing out. I did find uh, a Stampin' Up uh, brown that I really did like that someone sent me. That was super cool. A fella here with his cart of flowers. Isn't that sweet? Hmm. Might be a girl, might be a little boy. Kind of hard to tell. So sweet. And then this goes up here. I encourage you guys to try this. You know, I mean, what have you really got to lose, right? If you have things blooming around your house, then, you know, I mean, all you got to do is just try. And, um, you know, just stick Stick your flowers down. The the glue stick really did help. It it kind of when I pressed the the violets into the the uh, paper here, the um, the it, it kind of mm, it kind of cracked the 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 stem in here. And it just, it really stuck it down, like really good. So I would recommend, recommend some glue stick. All right, next thing that I need to do is put the actual journaling paper on the back of each of these. These are going in my Etsy store. There's a lot going on here, but I'm really dedicated to putting new and different things in the Etsy store. So I hope that you guys are enjoying that. It's been fun to, you know, just kind of take a break from making journals and kind of focus on journaling supplies because it's encouraged me to be flexible and to kind of break out of my um, usual creative routine and try some new things and learn some new techniques. I'm, I'm really, um, I'm kind of at a better mental space than I've been in a while. I was in a great mental space until the refrigerator quit working. <laughs> Kid, gosh, you know, but I have a refrigerator. I have a house. I can go get another refrigerator. Thank God. We've talked about this before, but you know, if you're paying attention to what's going on in the world, it's like you know, you you are doubly, triply thankful for everything that you have very humbling and important and wonderful to uh, you know just have these wonderful simple pleasures the simple pleasure of you know a lot of times I wake up in the night well always I wake up in the night and um, you know the, the dogs are asleep and Chris is asleep and you know the house is warm thank God and you know, you just think, mm, you just kind of bask in it. You, you just savor, you know, savor that, 
that wonderful goodness, that sweetness of life, that simplicity of life. Um, it's just so meaningful to, uh, you know, to really embrace the now and put your arms around what's happening right this minute. Come to peace with where you are right this minute. Don't strive uh, to be somewhere else, but just embrace the here and now and uh, love it to death, man. Give it a big, big, big squeeze. All right, we have finished another batch of our pressed violets cards. And I think I'm going to call it an evening. Chris has gone to work, and I'm thinking a condo would like to just... Um, I want to watch Port Protection. I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can... You can check out Port Protection, which is like, oh, I love that show. And uh, I think that's kind of what um, what the here and now is calling me to do, y'all, is rest a little bit. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.